Hello to everyone. Um, today we will speak about step-by-step -step installation of the RR kit for the KTM 950 or 990 Adventure. We suggest you book two hours and this should be just enough time to make the complete installation of the RR kit. Here you can see in detail what you get when you buy uh, the RR kit with transparent windshield for the KTM 990 or 950. You get the headlights, the mask, the transparent windshield, the sticker, uh, mounting pack, a headlights holder, and if you specify that you have 950, you get one more extra holder. If you don't specify, you don't get it, yes? So it's important to say clearly in the order uh, which bike you have. The first step, you will remove the windshield. Here are three and three bolts on the other side. Just remove them, but keep them aside because you will need them later for the installation of the RR kit. When the windshield is removed, the next step, here are three bolts. So you will need to take them out and also on the other side. Now we open a little bit the side panels, like this, so here is a small gap, and you do it on the other side as well. Now we need to take out the mask, including the headlights. Here in this area are plastic clamps. We need to grab it there, open it a little bit, and take away. And here is the headlight connector that you take out and you have the headlights removed from the motorbike. Because we need this plastic holder, so from the other side, the headlight holds on four screws. One, two, three, four. So we need to take out these four screws to remove the headlight from the mask. Now we take the upper headlight holder uh, and the M6 by 16 bolt with Allen heads and, and the nuts. And here you see here are um, four holes. So to the upper holes, we will mount the upper headlight holder. In this case, you see that the customer has there already uh, the Turatech mount here. Yeah? So you will mount it over it like this. In case you have 950, this original bottom bracket doesn't exist there. That's why you get this extra holder from us and you mount it here in the area where is a horn holder mounted and also on the other side. Now take the headlights, take the headlights and these holders, and you will find in this box also uh, the bolts M5 by 16, and you mount uh, this headlight together. You can see here that one tube is shorter and the one is longer, so make sure uh, the light with a longer tube goes to the lower position and the light with a shorter tube which is high beam goes to the upper position. Now we take also this extension from the headlight box and you see here, here it's marked high beam and we said that uh, the shorter tube means high beam so we try to connect together. You can see here is a hook that goes here into this uh, square hole. You connect. If you don't feel it goes smoothly, you don't use force, but, but you take a small screwdriver and you bend a little bit the pins upwards. And then you try again. Make sure again it's high beam, high beam. 
and now it goes well. Let's test the other one. No, too much force. So again, take a small screwdriver and bend the pin a little bit upwards. Now the headlight unit is completed, but please rather double check that the high beam extension is connected to the lamp with the shorter tube, which is high beam. Don't forget first to plug in the headlight connector. For the lower mount, you will use uh, the M6 by 8 uh, bolts with the uh, Allen head and the two swashers. Take the M5 by 16 bolts and the washers and mount um, the upper holder of the, of the headlights. Now we take the new mask and the M5 uh, rubber nuts and we insert them into the mask. What is important that this edge has to go above the upper, upper mount. Yeah, make sure that it goes there. And you click from each side and you can see here it is more or less aligned. So now you can put back uh, the side panels and use the original bolts um, to connect it. Now take the rubber washers. Um, they have here a sticker, so peel it, the protection, and you stick it on the rubber grommets. This will ensure uh, there is some clearance in between the mask and the windshield and you will not scratch the windshield from inside when some dust gets in there. To install the windshield you can use uh, the original KTM bolts with the plastic washers or you can use the M5 by 16 with plastic washers from us supplied in the mounting bag. So it's up to you. They are both both same more or less. Now take the windshield, insert it on a motorbike, and at the first stage only finger tight the bolts. When all six bolts are in there, so now is the time when you can tight. But again, yeah, don't over tight. Yeah, it's not necessary to go into the uh, say hard moment. Uh, don't do that because you need to keep there a little bit flexibility. There goes the vibrations through the windshield into the ball. So the final step is to put there <laughs> the sticker around the headlights. Uh, it's of course up to if we want it there or not. Uh, if you want it there, what I suggest you s you find a spot on top of on the headlights try to make it somewhere in the middle you can take a marker yeah and you can mark it here you can clean it later no worries i peel it the protection from the top and i peel only a little bit yeah of it what is really important is to center it well once it's well centered you are happy with it you make it softly, you still have a chance to, to correct it later, yeah? Within the windshield bag, there is also a plastic rim and secure locks. So you can install it if you wish. Uh, we suggest you start from one corner. Now on both ends, you will secure it with a small lock. 
like this. Guys, the installation is finished, so congratulations to your mechanical job. And now we can start enjoying better wind protection, more space for navigation, and way stronger road legal LED headlights. So guys, we wish you to have a great season with your motorbike.